Hi guys, welcome back. This is EJ. Super EJ, but not DJ. So this is my second vlog. So for now, I'm going to tell you or give you a bit of an advice or tips on how to, to choose the right frame specs for your eyes. So currently I'm just wearing my contact lenses. So, but I'm, I have like loads of frames here that I normally use, uh, not on a daily basis, but basically uh, whenever I have you have to mix and match with your clothes and uh, what personality or whatever what you feel wearing for the day so one of the tips that you have to remember is that when choosing the right frame frame or frames or specs for your for your face is like the shape of your face so we have like they say that like we have four types of uh, face actually so one is like the oval shape like I'm more an oval but uh, I'm not really hard shape the second one is a square where in the jaw is like more prominent it's like really wide cheek and then wide on the forehead as well and then the other one is like the round face like if you have like a small face a small or bigger face but like actually shape as a round like typically you're like a round shape without even like a, an angle angle on your face and then the second I mean the fourth one is the um, the so-called diamond or the heart shape you will notice that one because some of them have like a like a hair in here so it's like shaped like a heart one so for the heart it's like a, you have a wide forehead you have a wide cheeks and then it narrows down like it's typically like a heart shape yeah so so the, the best, they say that the best type of um, shape of the face is for either the oval or the heart shape because any type of uh, frame will actually fit on your face. So for me, I have like a bit of an oval because I used to be like very fat before. So I gained weight to so have like plumpy cheeks before. So I'm gonna share you. So if you have a round face, what I normally suggest is that we should have and angular so that it will not emphasize more on your round shape like this one so the rectangular shape of the of the frame will actually help you to give an impression that you have like a longer um, longer face and will not emphasize more on the round shape of your eye of your um, of your cheeks so yeah hmm, this one actually make my eyes bigger well, my eyes are bigger, really, to be honest. <laughs> and then, if you have a square face, so that's the time that you have a round shape, so that you will not emphasize more on your cheekbones, more on the wide, like, like shape, like a squarish. So, in order to contrast that one, you have to wear like the round shape, like this one. So, yeah. So the round shape will actually make your facial uh, features more softer because uh, because of the cheekbones then, although I wanted to have a cheekbone, so but I don't have one. I try to exercise, but I cannot do that one then. So one of my most favorite is my Harry Potter, as they say, the, the round specs. A, a little bit of a smaller than this one, it looks like a Jen Lennon. Yeah, so. So think of it as like an accessories for your face. So not just, you know, I know I have like negative 650. I was like inborn with it according to my doctor. So yeah, in order for you to, uh, in order for you to like, you know, think of it as, um, I know that some of them well, I might want it to have like a LASIK, but it's more expensive. So just opt, on, opt in and more on the types of, uh, frames you see this one is actually nice like more like of an animal print so it's not really big not really very round it's like um, there's an angle in here but in this rounded softer look and then this one is like more of a vintage but it's very nice like more, more classy yeah like a normal typical day you can have that one as an accessories if you're like driving and then if you want it more fashionable you can have like you can go for bold colors so this one is like a pine color yeah 
So one of the main problems that I have is that whenever I use um, this kind of frames, the, the nose pad is actually, you have, well, it's the nose, my nose bridge, is I have to push a bit of more uh, of my glasses. So what will happen is that it touches my eyelashes because I have a, a bit of a long eyelashes, like it's straight. I don't want to curl it, so I want it natural. So yeah, I can actually feel the glasses touching my eyelashes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you want to have it like more of um, natural, like uh, because the, the lighter the shade of your frame, it will make your face softer, like you're not wearing anything. Like, um, and one of the things that you have to choose is that it should be comfortable on your nose, not so heavy. The lighter the better, of course, because it will have to have you like um, nose pads uh, will actually have a mark on here at the end of the day, especially if you're more like working on the computers every day. So yeah. So another another one is that the vintage one is this one. It's, yeah. So I have the gold one and then this one is the black. So yeah. If you wanna be, uh, wanna look like more nerdy, but not so heavy. You can have this one so it depends on you like the formal occasions day-to-day uh, day-to-day -day wear I have like loads of frames in here yeah this one is like really I like this one because of the animal print but uh, most of the time I just use the so-called rim horn glasses which is like this one so it's like angular in here, but it's like a round edge in here. So it's like, it's nothing uh, on the bottom, but there is a frame on it. So it's like half frame. So as you can see, there's like a nose pad as well. So you only have to adjust that one if you want to, if you, if you want to adjust in the nose so that you will not touch my eyelashes on my, my specs, on the glass itself. So I like this because it's like, it's fashionable. It's a bit of a vintage, but um, it's like half, half, uh, half rim. That's what they call it. So half frame. So one of my old frames is this one. It's like it really looks like nerdy, like. But I like it anyway. So another one is this one. It's like uh, it's a bit of a bold, but you don't want it to be like more colorful. So have it like white or just the plain as just plain uh, plastic one normally i choose the plastic one because it's lighter and um, the lighter the better so so that's the thing that you have to remember so you have if i have a round face you have to wear like squarish or rectangular so that it will not emphasize more on your round face if you don't want to if you want to keep that one on a normal basis and then if you are having a squarish like um, really prominent jaw lines, like everything is wide, wide forehead, you must have, again, the round one. So that it will make your face a bit smaller because there's a contrast on that one. But still, if you wanted to wear something like, you want to emphasize more of your jaw line, it's up to you. You can have like a small square frames, which is, as long as you're comfortable with it, you have to try it on, really. So yeah, I like this one as well. Yeah, and then so if you have an oval or like a heart shape, um, you can wear whatever. So that one is because um, the shape is actually like, like I said, heart heart shape. So you can use any type of uh, lenses, any type of frames, which actually perfectly fit for your face. So. I don't know if you can be able to alter your face to a hard shape, but I, I believe you cannot do that one. So, so what is important is that you should find the right fit, the right shape, and then the right weight as well for your nose. Like anything that's more comfortable, the better. So, hope you enjoy your enjoy watching, and then um, I'll give you more of the tips the next time. So yeah, again, this is Super EJ, not the DJ. So just click and subscribe and see you later. Cheers, bye.